welcome to the Row on Fight. I'm Matt Topolsky alongside Brad Gilmore. Wait, 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 wait. Matt Topolsky, have you heard the news? Did you subscribe to the newsletter? What you know newsletter? What's the, the Dynamite newsletter. No, I'm not, I'm not subscribed to the Dynamite newsletter. Well, you should be, Matt Topolsky, because if you read it, like I did, there's going to be a big announcement from J.J. Blake, the Dynamite Adonis, here on the Row. That's going to be it's special, Matt Topolsky. Don't look at me like that. You in know your that it's opinion, special. it's very special. But in addition to that, this week right here on the Reality of Wrestling, we have some big breaking news. The Texas Heavyweight Championship is up for grabs. The Mysterious Q, the franchise, will defend that title against the former Reality of Wrestling champion, Aiden Cristiano. Well, Booker T impressed with Aiden Cristiano, wants to give him another championship opportunity, but he's going to have to go against the franchise, the man who dethroned Rex Andrews, who retired Retain that championship in that triple threat match on the fight exclusive against Rex and Johnny Impact, the Mysterious Q. That's going to be a clash of styles and styles mixed fights. Absolutely. That is your main event this week on The Row. In addition to that, we have J.J. Blake's big announcement and so much more. So buckle in because the reality of wrestling on Fight TV starts right now. The following contest is scheduled for one call. Introducing first. From Washington, D.C., weighing at 300 pounds and seven feet tall, the world class, this is Star! A reality of wrestling resembling more and more like the land of giants, and here is a second generation giant. This is Star! right now kick out at two from Terrell Tempo but he is firmly in control from the get oh, oh what a sidewalk slam cover this has got to be all Tempo somehow slips out the back door once again and what a week of action, what a week of action, excuse me, planned here for everyone at the reality of wrestling, the Texas Championship, still to come in our main event. And of course, JJ Blake with his big announcement. I'm telling later you, here. You should have subscribed to the newsletter. Oh no. Stud again. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute! I thought for a minute here the action might be getting up close and personal over here at the commentating table. Oh. A European uppercut there from Tempo. He tries to turn the tables now. Oh man, these two brawling at it. Like I said, Terrell Tempo got the upper hand on Sean Sutton the last time. 
He picked up Sean Stubbs for that pay and dividends, but no one was really sure that he even could. Terrell Tempo showed his strength and his ability. And now he's going up top for some high risk. Yeah, this is unusual from Terrell Tempo, but he feels like he has to do it. And he connects. Cover two. And a kick out from Stud. Sean Stud had no idea where Terrell Tempo was coming from. Oh, looking for it again. He hit this paying dividends last time. Oh. Stud driving that, that arm, the tree trunk of an arm right to the back of Terrell Tempo. Hit him with so much velocity the first time he knocked himself off his feet. Size 18 is going to leave an impression. Now Stud once again trying to impose his will. Terrell Tempo reversal. Trying to get the big monster off his feet. Irish whip. Reversal into the corner. Well, Terrell Tempo shifting his weight. Sean Studd lose track of Terrell Tempo, but now, oh, wait a minute. Terrell using that speed to his advantage. Oh! Well, that right there is definitely a change of momentum and equilibrium cover here. That may be it. Tempo kicks out, but my goodness, it was like he ran right into traffic. for that choke slam. That high altitude choke slam from the second generation giant. Here it goes. He's got him at the post. Oh, wait a minute, reversal. Terrell Tempo. Oh, since it's done into the second turn buckle. He's feeling it. Oh! Back elbow. Springs up. And it's time to push the tempo. He's calling for it. He's calling for that pay and dividends back to Polsky. How impressive would this be if Terrell Tempo can give everyone here at the World Gym Arena a sequel? Here we go. Paying dividends. Wait a minute. And stunned with a rake to the eyes right there. Blinding Tempo. Wait a minute. That second generation choke slam. I'm Ashley Bull, backstage here with Rob Barnes. Now, next week you face former television champion Cameron Cole. What are your thoughts going into that match? Well, Cameron Cole seems to be blaming me for his loss for the Road Television Championship, and if he wants to fight me, then I have no problem. But when it comes to a match against me, he's going to need to learn that it's not about being cool. Sometimes you gotta get gritty. Sometimes you gotta get dirty. Sometimes you gotta do what it takes to win. Sometimes you gotta wrestle smart. And when. So, first you mess up my birthday, and then now you're doing interviews without us? She asked me for an interview. What, what was I supposed to say? Actually, Rob, you asked for this time. That's not the time, Karen! My name's Ashley. Uh, it, don't, 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 let's go, Star Tech. Mm. 
I'm not calling him that. Right, right there. You see what I'm talking about? My foot was under the rope. I know I tap, but that's a rule. I, I should get a rematch? That didn't count. That did not account at all. I demand a rematch. I need to get another title shot. Because clearly, my foot was under the rope. And I didn't lose. You demand? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Give me a minute to look at this by myself without you breathing down my neck. And I'll get back to you about it. I'll make my decision soon. Thank you. Earlier this week, our cameras caught up with Gino at the World Gym Arena getting ready for his big match against MVP next week here on Fight TV. Thank you for taking a minute out of your training just to talk with us real quick. I had a quick question. How are you preparing differently for this match against MVP? See, that's the thing. I'm not preparing any way differently than I would for anybody else. Because when you step in this ring, you go in with a game plan, that's where you mess up. You get kicked in the mouth, you get punched in the mouth. That game plan is out the window. <laughs> and you see training is something I'm very passionate about. Because day in, day out, every day of the week, this is where you can find me. And that's the ring. Porque este ring is donde yo nací. Este ring. This ring. It's where it's all I know. This ring. It's all I can remember since I was a little kid. Being in Mexico, I was in the ring. 14 years old, I was in the ring. 15 year old, I was in the ring. But you see, I see MVP. I see somebody like MVP. And I see everywhere he's gone. I see all that he's done. And I can't help to be excited, to be excited to be in that ring with him and know that he can push me to be better. And you see, right now, I call myself intocable. You know what that means? It means that I am untouchable. And when I get in the ring with you, MVP, it will be too late for you to realize why I am the face of reality wrestling, why I am El Fino Divino Gino. El Campeón. Please welcome Chang Chang Play. Well, as usual, the ring announcer always gets it wrong. From Virginia Beach, Virginia, weighing it at 235 pounds, he is the champion of television, the Dino Mite Adonis, Jay. Jay Lake. And this is what I was talking about, Matt Topolsky. If you read the newsletter, the JJ Blake Dino by the newsletter, subscribe to the email you list. You know what? I missed the newsletter. Subscribe to the email list. Imagine your surprise. Imagine your surprise. Hold on. I've got it all here for you, Mr. Blake. I've got it all laid out. Just like you said, Mr. Blake, I signed everything, and it's all ready for you, Mr. Blake. So now that all we need you to do, Mr. Blake, is to do what you do, Mr. Blake. Thank you, Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, you pathetic average people have the pleasure of the presentations, of all presentations. You see, I'm the champion of television, the best television champion you idiots have ever seen in your entire sorry lives. <laughs> so, I thought it would be fitting to make my own. What is JJ Blake talking about? Make us on what? Make us on what? Oh, my God. 
my fight championship of all television. Yes, yes. He's a champ, Matt Topolsky. This is my championship, and I will be a fighting champion. I will defend this champion against whoever gets in this ring, the best of the best, the most, the most talented talent you will ever see in your life. And I will best each and every one of them. So, what I'll do, because I'm a fighting champion, is I'll defend this right here, right now. So get me a referee out here right now. And get me an opponent out here right now. Well, Matt Topolsky, we have a new champion in reality. Give right me now. a break. The Dynamite Fight Champion of all television. First of all, that's not a sanctioned title. It's a Second of all, you can't just buy yourself a championship whenever you damn well please. Yes. What are you celebrating? What do you mean, Matt Topolsky? He's the champion. But that's a lawyer. Lawyer from where? Do we cheat him in half? Number one call, making his way to the ring from New Richmond, Wisconsin, weighing at 180 pounds, Will Rockhart. Brad Gilmore, is that the third sibling? Hey, Matt Topolsky, look who we have in the crowd tonight. That's Les Ellie Dalla, a.k.a. Steak and Shrimp. AKA Young Chico. He's got a new album out right now on iTunes. It's called Chico, and he's here. He's here at the front row of sports entertainment. I, I don't know what's going on. How, in God's name, can a competitor just purchase themselves their own title, proclaim themselves champion? You sit here at ringside, you lap it up, you celebrate it. Look at it, it's gorgeous. It's the dynamite. Fight championship of all television, Matt Topolsky. JJ Blake is the first ever Dynamite Fight TV champion. Well, I have breaking news for you. I have breaking news for the Row Nation, and I have breaking news for JJ Blake. We already have a television champion. His name is Abel Andrew Jackson. That's not a legitimate title, and this is not a sanctioned competition. This is the Dynamite Fight Wrestling Championship. I'm looking at it right now. Hey, look. Alexander Baker the seventh, the in-house row legal counsel, looked through the contract. He had all the paperwork. He signed all the documents, crossed the T, dot the I's. He said it could be done, and I will believe him. We have a new championship in reality wrestling, the Dynamite Fight. Just because you have someone who's pretending to be a lawyer scribbling on a coloring book doesn't mean that that's a legitimate title. This is a real title, Matt Tafalski. And JJ Blake is a real champion. How dare you claim anything else? Well, right now, Will Lockhart, third sibling or not, trying to win a championship that doesn't exist. Kick out at one. Look, J.J. Blake's a fighting champion. A fighting champion? A fighting champion that lost his title months ago, failed to reclaim it, and so he hired a lawyer and purchased his own belt. That's not a title, it's a belt. It's not a title, it's a strap. It's a championship, Matt Topolsky. It's the Dynamite Fight Championship of all television. Look at that. JJ Blake is going to be the greatest champion of all time. that knee right into the throat cover here too. Kick out from Will Lockhart. Fun fact about Will Lockhart, if you want to get to know your Lockhart, if you will, he's wrestling in a match for a title that was just invented. to this. Obviously, it's a legal championship. I'm sure it's a matter here. of time before it's sanctioned by the reality of wrestling. Now you know you're in there with the greatest of all time, the Dynamite Adonis, J.J. Blake. You know, J.J. Blake should have hired you to be his lawyer. What, did you have the afternoon off? You could have gone up there. I don't have a law degree. 
Bowie Keenum and Howell that was in there earlier has one either. His name is Alexander Baker the seventh, and he is the in-house reality of wrestling legal counsel. Underneath, Will Lockhart looking for a cross body. Oh, wait a minute, JJ Blake. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Will Lockhart roll up here, roll up. Pick out a two. Here's that dynamite. Oh, looking for that big elbow. JJ Blake connected with the top turnbuckle, but now with his opponent. Watching the YouTube preview of Reality of Wrestling this week. Make sure you watch the full episode on Fight.tv or download the Fight TV app for free. Just click the link below and help support the show.